so you can see now here that you have to uh, create the spreadsheet as it looks like this so you'll be creating it and then uh, in this column you are going to identify the results of this column by using an if statement when you look at the question here number two uh, it says f5 because f5 is the uh, cell number remember column f5 here you are going to use an if statement to determine the results whether yes or no because the question says use the if function to determine whether a salesman ends commission only if the total sales figure which is this one if the total sales figure in column e for the two months two months remember is june and july so this is the answer for june and july added together it gives you this so you are going to test whether this answer is equal or more than thirty thousand if it's equal and, and more than thirty thousand then you are going to display yes if it's not then you display no so what is happening is you can do that with an if statement then we are going to use equals to if so obviously you will choose it and click the total sales so you are going to because now it's not only greater than 30,000 even 30,000 itself so you are going to say uh, click there and then you will say greater and equals to greater and equals to then you will have to put quotations because now you you, you are specifying a greater and equals to what so it will be 30,000 okay now here remember we have to determine the I mean specify the amount first okay so greater and equals to 30,000 comma what do you want to see the instruction says that we must display yes then we can put a quotation and say yes close quotation then what if it's not greater and equals to 30,000 then we put a second comma which means otherwise remember an if statement has two commas the second comma means otherwise then we will have to show no okay so close bracket enter so the first one says no because it's, this is not 30,000 is not even more than 30,000 so when I autofill my answer going down others will be yes others will be no because others are 30,000 and more when it comes to this one the instruction says if this is yes you have to multiply or you have to determine the commission which is 15 percent the commission of total sales 15 percent so the question here the instruction here in the paper g5 if the salesman should earn commission calculate the commission at 15 percent so how do you know that they end commission because it will be yes commission yes then if it's yes we are going to multiply 15 percent of total sales remember when they say a, a percentage of then you multiply it will be 15 percent multiplied by this when this is yes then we can do that if it's not yes then we are going to multiply this with zero any number multiplied by zero is zero because the statement says display the commission amount or zero so if the commission amount is going to display it was because here it's yes so this is how you do it with an if statement equals to if open bracket then we are going to test this and we want to check whether it's yes or no so we will say if f5 equals to f5 i clicked it i didn't type it remember equals to then we will put quotations and say yes then remember then is a comma then what do you want to see then we want to see this amount be multiplied with 15 percent you put a percentage sign otherwise remember the commas i i name them i i actually announce them as then and otherwise so that you understand that when you put a comma it's when you see the results if this is true and the second comma is what if the results are not true like it's not yes then we have to multiply the same amount 
with 0. Any number multiplied by 0, it will give us 0. That's why they said display 0. I close the bracket, I press enter, it's 0 because here it's no. When I autofill, I will get other answers as numbers, not 0 because it's yes. So you see here it's yes, I've got a, an amount, yes, I've got an amount, no, 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 yes, 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 no. So that's how it, it, it works. When you look at the instructions of E16, E17, E18, E19 here, you are going to determine these instructions by using what is indicated here. The first one is use, they say use the small function to determine the second smallest total amount. Next time in the test, it will be like determine the smallest total amount. They don't tell you which function you have to use. You must know which function goes where. So this is just an exercise for you to prepare to understand how to type a function. So next time it will be like uh, determine the fourth largest total amount. Uh, determine the number of salesmen in Johannesburg. It won't be like use the count if function and so on. You, you have to know which function goes where. So the first one is determine the second smallest. Remember is equals to small. Open bracket. You take the everything in the the whole range that is indicated comma then which number which position actually the number two close bracket enter then it gives us the second smallest now the fourth largest equals to large open bracket amongst this range comma number four close bracket enter number of salesmen in johannesburg equals to now here you are going to count amongst this branch but only things that are Johannesburg. Because it says number of salesmen in Johannesburg. So you are going to count only the names of Johannesburg. How many times do they, do they appear? So obviously it will be count if. Count if. Now amongst this range. Comma. So count if what? Count if the name is Johannesburg. So you'll have to put it in quotation and say equals to. And type Johannesburg the way it appears on your spreadsheet. Otherwise, it won't be counted. So whatever you type after an equal sign here, you must be sensitive. It's very sensitive. Excel it's sensitive in terms of capital letters, the small letters, and the spelling. If the spelling is wrong that you're putting here, it won't be able to find it there. So uh, you put it, being careful, and you close. Uh, al always also note, where did I put the quotation before an equal sign? Okay. So you are counting this, Johannesburg. So it will be quotation equals to Johannesburg, close quote, close bracket. Enter, then it tells me Johannesburg appears four times. Total, if amount is bigger than 30,000. So... Here you are going to look for any number that is more than 30,000. Those numbers will be added together. So remember this one is when you use the sum if. Open bracket amongst the range. Comma. Then you are going to specify that you only add numbers that are more than this number. So we were given greater than 30,000. You put it in quotation. Greater 30,000 close quotation, close bracket, enter. So this is the answer of only numbers which are more than 30,000 added together. This is how you are going to do it also. So if you are going to show formulas, you will go to formulas, show formula, you will see all your formulas displaying and then you will print this. Remember each and every formula of an if statement is going to be checked. Whether you used an if will give you, like it will be indicated with a mark there, You'll have to will have to check whether you used the the correct uh, cell to check. You get another mark there. Then you will have to get a mark if correct mark if you indicated what if the results is true. Then also when you indicated when the results are not true, what do you want to display? So all one formula here gives you four marks. So don't just do. Uh, the, the, the answers and not show the formulas when you are requested to do so because you will only get one mark, one mark, one mark for the 
answers but you will lose more than 20 marks for the formulas so it's very important but obviously you have to get the formula correct before you can even think of of marks okay so that's all you are going to do this on your own 